Hello, hello. Welcome to Verbling. I'm Teacher Oakley. Ard. Are you ready to get your pirate on? Uh, we're going to have a conversation class. Uh, all abilities are welcome to join me here at Verbling and talk about traveling, any kind of traveling that you have done on the water. Uh, we can talk about, um, let's see, rafts, kayaks, canoes, windsurfers, sunfish, sailboats, yachts, ocean liners, tankers, and submarines. Any kind of ocean travel you have ever done. Ocean, uh, lake, pond, floating around on a rubber raft. Uh, anyway, we're going to talk about traveling by boat uh, as an addendum to that. I have actually attached to the class description, if you're interested, uh, I have attached a document with a long list of nautical terms. This is sort of a subcategory of English, all right, because nautical terms or nautical, nautical of, of the sea, uh, maritime, <laughs> vocabulary. Uh, there's a long list of different words. If you're in a ship, they've got a different word for left, right, forward, back, up, down, for everything. Um, so it's very interesting, sort of a, a almost like a sub-language of English. Uh, okay, uh, welcome to the class, Saiban. Hello. Hi, how are you, teacher? I'm well. How are you today? Fine, thank you, teacher. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. Okay. I'm doing all right. Hello, Julio. How are you? Hey, Mr. Rutley. How's it going today? Uh, all right, gentlemen, I, I don't know. Today. Today, <laughs> yes. Go ahead. Today, uh, are, are, okay, all right, we're, we're talking uh, okay. about I just said, boats in the water. Did you hear me? Or... No, I, you must have cut out. I, I just heard today and then nothing. Uh, okay, I just said same old, same old. Oh, okay, same old, same old. Same right. old things. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> SOSD. Uh, SS, okay. SSDD, whatever it is. Okay. Uh, also, welcome to the class, Tw Tuan. Is that correct? Uh, yes, my name is Tuan An. Yeah. Tuan An. Uh, okay, Tuan An. Okay, Tuan, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Vietnam. Vietnam, okay. Very good. Uh, okay, Tuan, welcome to the class. Yeah. Juan and everyone, all right, we're talking about, we're going to share experiences and just converse about any experiences we've ever had in any kind of vessel, water vessel, okay? Mm -hmm. What do I mean? I, I mean anything that floats on the water. Uh, so, Tuan, do you have any experience boating or sailing? Yeah, I I used to have an experience with uh, traveling by boat. Uh, in my country, um, Ha Long Bay is yeah very famous in my country. So I used to have experience traveling by boat in uh, Ha Long Bay. Yeah. In in what? I I'm, don't. Yeah. In... Uh, it is in Ha Long Bay. Oh, oh, in the bay. Okay. Yeah, the bay. bay. Mm -hmm. Got it. Oh, I see. And uh, what kind of a boat do you use? Can you describe it? Is it a sailboat, a motorboat? What sort of a boat? Maybe it's, I think it's a. Uh, it looks like a vessel more than a boat. It looks like a. It looks like a vessel. Vessel more than a boat. Okay, can is it? What is it powered by? Is it? Sails, the wind. 
or a motor or or ores. Yeah, it is fueled by the ores. Ores. Okay. Hand power. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. The, of course, there are just I don't know hundreds and hundreds of different kinds of boats. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Tuan, what were you doing out there in your boat? Just floating around? Were you fishing? Were you trying to go somewhere? Were you transporting something? What was uh, the purpose? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I still remember at that time I was 10 years old. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, so I, uh, I, took, I took that uh, trip to the, that bay with my parents and we just enjoyed some um, amenities amenities on the bus like we are uh, having a breakfast on the bus having we, we, we had a uh, dinner on the bus and uh, at night we are how can I say we spend time together to source people they um, mm -hmm, uh, they fly they fly some kind of mm, it looks like a Mm. How can I say? I don't know. Mm, it no. looks like a box, but inside it has a light. Yeah. Okay. Light the yeah. Uh, sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, paper lanterns. Right. Yeah. Okay. You. Oh, lantern. Your... Yeah. It's lantern. Right. And it floats yeah. up into the sky. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, very nice. Oh, I see. So, okay, you're eating on the boat, you're spending time, you're watching uh, Paper Lantern. What is this, a festival or something? Uh, yeah. On the bay? Mm-hmm. It's a festival, yeah. At that time, I don't know how to how to call that festival in the English. Mm. Um, but, I I live in the. I'm an American, but I live in the Philippines. We we have here uh, uh, Lantern Festival. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, the Lantern Festival in my country is mm -hmm. quite famous. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Okay. Interesting. So you're spending all this time on this boat. I th you know when you said it was oars, hand power. I I yeah. was picturing a very small boat, but it must have been. Fairly yeah. big to spend that much time on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Did was it your family's boat? Does your family own the boat? Uh, actually, no. <laughs> okay. We just it's enjoy just... our our time in the big boat in the Vestral. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, Tuan, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit more. In, in a little bit, I, I just want to greet some other people and talk to some others in the class. Uh, yeah. Hello, hello, Heidi. Welcome. Hello. Nice to see you again. As always. Uh, and greetings, uh, Hugh. Is that correct? Am I? Maybe I'm saying your name wrong. Is it Hugh? Yes. Hello. Hi. Am I saying your name correctly? Yeah, hello. Okay. Okay. Yes, my name's Hugh. Hugh. Oh, very good. Good guess on my part. Okay. Yes. Hugh, Hugh, where are you from? I'm from Vietnam. Vietnam as well. Okay. Welcome to the class. Uh, okay, yeah. Hugh and Heidi, I'll talk to you in a second. Uh, I want to catch up with Sai Ban. Sai Ban. Now, as far as I know, and I'm probably wrong, <laughs> I might be wrong. Uh, now, I, my understanding is you come from a kind of a landlocked area. Yeah, you're all right, teacher. Right. Yeah. So, do you have experience with boats and ships? Oh, unfortunately, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I haven't right uh, boat or shape because as you mentioned uh, our our country it's landlord teacher so <laughs> we right. don't have a port I mean uh, or boats uh, but we have uh, like uh, we have river 
I mean, uh, right. Especially in the uh, actually in the south part of Iraq, it's not landlocked, but uh, we cannot uh, go to south part of Iraq. Because right. uh, it's not our land, it's not our country. I mean, we are separate from Iraq as a region, I mean. Right. So. Uh, Kurd the Kurdish region is uh, it's yeah. an aut autonomous region, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's autonomous uh, region. Teacher. In the north. I, I, yeah, in the yeah. north. Even for uh, s uh, recently, we uh, sell our oil via through Turkey. So uh, oh, we, yeah. we send yeah, we send our oil to Turkey, and the Turkey uh, translate this oil to the all over the world to the Europe. Uh, so uh, they have they sharing profit with us. When they uh, bow, when they uh, sell this um, uh, oil, teacher. Right. Okay. When they sell the oil, but okay, you sold it to Turkey. Yeah, there's some controversy there, isn't there? Yeah, teacher. Yeah. With uh, Iraq wants to make a deal. Yeah. For, yeah. For money, let's you know be blunt. Yeah. They want yes. part of the part of the money. That's it. Yeah, yeah, you're all right, teacher. So <laughs> you you know how is the situation right now in the yeah. Iraq? <laughs> yeah, you're right. Uh, there are a big, uh, a big. Uh, uh, how can how can I say that the the uh, problems uh, between Iraq and uh, the far argue between Iraq and Kurdistan region and the the American uh, country. I mean the the American government. Uh, doesn't uh, appear or shows his uh, attitude uh, about this problem. It just, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, uh, d doesn't say anything yet. I mean, it, ha it hasn't say anything yet. <laughs> yeah. Just uh, choice silent uh, to be. I mean, uh, uh, don't uh, support any any side, teacher. <laughs> yeah, I am. Yeah, I'm. I'm a little bit aware of that. Since we're talking about boats and ships and and all that. Yeah, teacher. Let's talk about the fact. I think there's a big, big old oil tanker floating around, trying mm -hmm. to find a buyer for this oil. Which I oh yeah, teacher, you're find right. <laughs> hard to believe that no one will buy it. But anyway, um, I think the concerns are legal concerns. They're worried yeah, about teacher. somebody starts suing somebody else, and it's complicated. Especially yeah, especially our our region. I mean, uh, right recently, I don't want to waste time. I just want to refer this point, uh, and that's it. <laughs> okay. Just want yeah, go, go ahead. Okay, so we we need. I mean, as a I mean, uh, Kurdistan region as a as a region autonomy, we need to have our economy. I mean, a separate economy. So we we need to real uh, on our resource. We don't need, uh, I mean, uh, to ask uh, Baghdad regime, uh, I mean, the Iraqi regime, to send uh, the the budget that, uh, or I mean, or, or the, the money. So we need to have uh -huh. a, a independent uh, economy. So recently, as I told you, we sold the money. I mean, we sold the oil to the Turkey, and then uh, we have some, I mean, uh, some money for, from this uh, oil. So right now we. Uh, we are kind. We are a kind of a separate economy, teacher. <laughs> right. Okay. And I, I think, uh, from what I've read, you know, the government, as far as the United States, the government doesn't really have a position. And corporations, as far as corporations buying it, they're worried about legal problems. I think many citizens actually strongly support the Kurdistan Autonomous Region and think they should be able to sell their own oil, I, I yeah. think. But anyway, it's interesting. It is slightly related <laughs> to our topic, which is boats and shipping, because we are yeah. talking, in fact, about yeah. shipping oil. Yes, you're right, um, teacher. I, I, had a, I once had a student. He was uh, not a captain, but a navigator on oil tankers and chemical tankers. Those big mother ships that um, transport enormous quantities of oil or, and or sometimes chemicals, sometimes toxic chemicals. 
That guy really? had some stories, I will tell you. My goodness. It's a really dangerous teacher because uh, yes, he, exactly. <laughs> especially in the in the water. When I mean the this uh, spill, this uh, oil if sailed to the water, it will be a very serious problem. Not well, just for the for the for the uh, station. Uh, how can I say stations? Uh, like the the Wallace and Dolphin, and even for the human teacher. <laughs> That's correct, and, and also many other factors. The fact that their cargo is toxic is many problems. The fact that there are indeed pirates, definitely. And this uh, guy who is my student, he's South Korean, but he he would... The way it works, you, you end up piloting ships or working on ships from different countries. And in any case, he has a lot of experience, and there are, he had several experiences with pirates that he said were very, mm, um, very scary. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, anyway, I want to give other people a chance to talk a little bit. Uh, hi, Victor. Welcome to the class. Nice to hi, see you, okay. Victor. Hey, hey. I'll talk to you in, in a bit. Um, we're we're actually talking about ships and boats and sailboats and all that. Julio, are you a sailor? Are no, I think the ocean is a scary place, <laughs> and there are strange creatures lurking beneath <laughs> the surface of the sea. Yeah, and, and that creeps me out. Surface. <laughs> and that creeps yeah, you like out. Yeah, like mermaids. Like mermaids, yeah. Mermaids. Gotta watch those. Yeah, yeah, and squids. Mm-hmm. And have you ever heard? Uh, have you ever? Well, I know you know Lovecraft, but this guy has a really cool story that's very famous. That's called Dagon. Ah, uh, okay. It's about. Mm -hmm. In a while. It's about a, a bunch of sailors that uh, winded up somewhere in the Mediterranean mm -hmm. and they arrived okay. to this island where all the inhabitants worshipped a god named Dagon that promised them a paradise land underneath the sea. Oh, and these lovely. guys were... Yeah, and these guys were actually growing gills. Oh, excellent! So they would, they will eventually will go. They were, they were calling that day like the, I don't know, like the doomsday or something like that. The day that they will return to the ocean and live in peace in and ar harmony with Dagon. Creepy story. Excellent. Very, very good. Uh, kind of like Waterworld and uh, Kevin Costner, who grows gills <laughs> in the movie. Yeah. Okay. It's a small English correction. They did not wind it up. They wound up or ended up. They wound up. They uh, wound, wound, wound up? Yeah. They um, wound up. Yeah, wine, wound, wound. It's an irregular verb. So they wound up on this island in the Mediterranean. Yeah, okay. You, you, do you have any, you know, it's not just the ocean. We can be on boats in a river or stream or pond or lake. Have, have you ever been in a, a boat on a river or in a lake or anything? Julio? Yeah, I've been in the, well, I mean, I've been in the ocean. A couple of times, uh, I won, once went with my friend in a yacht to sail around the coast. It was pretty neat because the yacht oh, okay. was really cool, but I get seasick. So ah. he told me, he told me, uh, just have a very light breakfast, like mm -hmm. what they call a continental breakfast. It's just like fruit sure. and use and and I said no I'm gonna be okay and I had like enchiladas and a, 
a nice. very heavy breakfast and just like a couple of no like four hours after later <laughs> I was I was uh my stomach was being how what's the name turned over yeah turn was th that yeah was turning over yeah was turning over yeah okay so, and I and I and I took like five dramamines but they didn't work I uh -huh. apparently you have to take them before. Yeah, you, you have to premeditate the mm -hmm. sickness. That's absolutely true. Yeah, yeah. I remember. I just have to share with you. I'm such a jerk. I, I really am. Uh, yeah, you are. yeah, I am. Um, <laughs> I grew when I grew up. My father took me fishing literally every weekend. Sometimes at a river, but he also had a boat, and we would go out in the boat and fish fish at night we would sleep on the boat in in the water no, regardless of the weather so I'm very used to sleeping on water and I can just fall asleep it doesn't even matter in any case I'm I'm not I don't get seasick at all uh, one time I went out me and a, a friend we went out on a deep sea fishing expedition and there were like 14 foot swells. It was pretty nasty. There was rain. Uh, half of the crew of this fishing boat were getting seasick. People were throwing up. All the there were maybe a 10. It was a big, pretty big boat. 10 or 12 passengers there to fish, paying for a tour. Uh, I was like the only one who wasn't sick, and I was such a jerk. I was eating hot dogs, like chili dogs, <laughs> hot dogs, drinking beer, like everybody else is throwing up, and I'm eating hot dogs going, what's wrong with you guys? Let's go fishing. <laughs> drinking cold Budweiser's. Let's go. I'm the only one out on the deck fishing, you know, <laughs> incredibly being a jerk and everybody else wanted to turn around I'm like no way <laughs> you <laughs> you wimps come on let's let's get some fish uh, yeah, yeah that's funny I kind of because I had paid and I wanted to stay out it, it, it their policy was it had to be unanimous so I was the I was the complete jerk of the whole oh. <laughs> everyone else was miserable and did you catch yeah. anything? Yes, I did. Uh, I caught some uh, caught some black cod, caught uh, bluefish. We were supposedly bluefish fishing. So yeah, I I did. It's actually good fishing when it's stormy. So maybe the puke attract the fish. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, I, I one question. Uh, there is a. Uh, there is a, a phrasal verb that I, well no, yeah, it's a phrasal verb that I heard, and I think it's British, so I just want to know if it's common. When I say I, um, I wrote up my breakfast. I wrote when are, up when you are proking, like bring up when you are. Oh, brought up. Oh yeah, yeah. Brought yeah. Up. I, okay, that's common for Americans too. Yeah, okay. I and uh, and brought up my lunch, brought up. My breakfast brought up my dinner. Yeah, whatever, whatever's coming up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes, it, that's actually common for. It, yeah, that phrasal verb's common for Brits and Americans. Uh, okay, Victor, how about you've been patient? How about you tell us about your nautical experience? Do you have any experience on ships and boats? have a big experience but uh, uh, I have never traveled by ship uh, but uh, uh, I like to uh, walk in the summer by ship in a on the river in my city ah is there a big port yeah. there yes no, uh, not big uh, but uh, we have a port and uh, uh, in my uh, city, there are a lot of uh, ships which uh, uh, walk around uh, island in my uh, mm, 
in my city, uh, our river uh, separate uh, 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 our earth on a, a, a few parts. And uh, do you understand me? No. Uh, Can you say that again? Uh, the river our separates. Yeah. Our river separate our earth, our island. Uh, okay. On a on a few parts and the ship uh, just uh, walk uh, among this uh, islands. Ah, okay. Um, okay, so there's like many islands. Yes. yes. Like a little archipelago. Not uh, many, not many, few islands, uh, uh, three uh Okay. Uh, three small islands, but it's enough for small traveling. Sure. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, so I, a mini a tiny, uh, it's, chain of islands. It's, but it's pretty expensive. I mean, I think <laughs> because because uh, it's not. Uh, I can't afford this. <laughs> it's not expensive for me, but I think for this, uh, if uh, they. Uh, Make a price more uh, or less. They uh, can uh, get more money because uh, there are uh, more uh, people which can uh, afford this. Uh, well, uh, this uh, small uh, trip. Okay, so are these like tour trips for? for for tourists? No, uh, it's um, it's just a uh, uh, small traveling which uh, uh, time for, for uh, time uh, for this travel. It's uh, only uh, a few hours. Okay. It's what is not, the point? It's not long. What is the point of this trip? Just to sightsee or to get from point A to point B? Uh, no, it's just, uh, uh, just uh, not from a point A to point B. Just walk. You just walk and enjoy weather and uh, enjoy view. Okay. Uh, Help me understand, though. This This port is this... What is this port used for? For shipping, commercial shipping? Is it used just for recreational sailing and boating? Is it used for fishing, or combination? Uh, uh, this port only for uh, only for uh, uh, walking, walking, uh, walking, uh, walking uh, ships and. Uh, uh, the uh, walking uh, ships working sh okay wa walk you just walk by this ship it, it's okay. called it's called walk you uh, mm, walk w a a l l k walk yeah like you walk in park okay you mean here traffic for I mean the the traffic ship shipping the the traffic teacher okay. All right. Maybe, uh, I don't know. I can't understand it exactly. But okay. uh, you just uh, take the ship and uh, you uh, can walk by uh, on a river, like in a, like by street, like in the street, um, or like in park. Okay. And so they're just for transportation. Yes. Oh, okay. Now I'm getting you. Okay. There's. Yes. There's water taxis, I, or if you're in Venice, you take a gondola to travel around, get from one place to another, or very common way, you're just yes. traveling from one place to another, are ferries. Yes, but if you just translate from my, uh, from my language to English, it sounds like a walk, walking ship. Ah, yes. okay. That's... Yeah. That's why I was confused, Victor, because we don't have that idea that there's no such, uh, there's no similar word or even idea. Uh, but because I, I wanted to uh, understand, uh, uh, describe that it's not cargo ships. It's, it's not. Right. Uh, I yes, get it. 
for people, uh, chips for people, when yeah. people can uh, uh, have a drink and uh, uh, listen uh, music and uh, enjoy nice view and uh, walk mm -hmm. uh, around the city by ship. Walk, walk. Okay, all right. All right, this is kind of a tour ship yes, kind of thing. Tour ship, but uh, um, small. But local. Yeah, local. local. Yes. Sure. Uh, I it, get it. it also, it also uh, a lot of uh, not local uh, traveling, but you can uh, uh, you can go uh, uh, to the another city. But I didn't try. Ah, okay. Yes. What what river are we talking about here, Victor? Uh, Dnipro. Uh, maybe you don't know. Dnipro, it's follow in the black. It, in, in, it's follow, uh, follows in the Black Sea. Okay. It okay. Um, it empties in the Black Sea is how we say it. Uh, it empties in or into. Okay. Mm -hmm. The Black Sea. That's how we express that in English. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Actually, good opportunity to how that is expressed. A river empties into whatever. Body, big body of water. Okay, thanks Victor. That, okay, thanks. actually that was very interesting. Thank you. Um, thank you. Uh, Ken, welcome to class. Hello. Yes, hello, how are you? I'm doing okay. A little hungry, but I think I can survive the next 25 minutes until lunch. How are you? Yes, I'm fine. <laughs> okay. Ken, are you very nautically inclined? Nautically no, inclined. <laughs> what is it? Okay, well, nautical means uh, uh, you see this D-A-L uh, adjective ending mm -hmm. suffix. Nautical means something to do with the water in boating. Oh, uh, yeah. I like swimming, but uh, <laughs> uh, not, uh, get, getting on the ship is rare. Well, Board tour. Yeah. It's rare, but you've mm. done it before. Yeah, uh, by before, uh, I, I used to uh, uh, play, do I uh, windsurfing with my friends. Really? Yeah. Can you windsurf, Ken? A little bit, not so uh, good, but uh, yeah. Okay. I Ken, uh, just to share with you, I I one day, one time. I rented a windsurfer for four hours, and all I did mm -hmm. is fall down about thirty-seven times. Yeah, uh, yeah, because, yeah, same, 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 same for me at the uh -huh. at the beginning. To kind of sail up, uh, the to to uh, stand up the boat, uh, a boat, and sail up is a necessary uh, practice. How yeah. to sail up? You need to get out the water from on the sail. That uh, to to get that technique is a bit difficult, hard process. Maybe maybe yeah, I feel yeah. down a lot, and after that I could get the knack of it. How yeah. to use the water on the wall? I never. I, I spent four hours of my life fighting with a windsurfer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like really yeah. felt like battle. I thought I was gonna <laughs> drown. It's heavy. It's really yeah, hard. Really heavy. Yeah. And you have to so have the right technique and. Can't, you pull the pull the how can I say sail uh, a little bit different angle okay. to reduce well, water on the surface. And I then you can yeah. I could not figure it out, Ken, and I just gave up. One of my yeah. one of my failures in life. <laughs> after, <laughs> totally gave up. After you sail up, uh, to keep balance is easier than uh, you know surfing. Uh, it's very difficult to stand up, actually. Yeah. Well, that's the funny thing. I've surfed before, and I can manage to stand up on a surfboard, but on a windsurfer, I am just totally spastic. And maybe the time zone, you know, the, in the before the dawn, or you know, uh, mm. the, how can I say, be, beginner should choose a time zone which wind is not so strong. Ah, right. Yeah. yeah. Even if Maybe. yeah, we stand up, uh, Sarah, if a strong wind uh, blows, it causes a strong pressure. Right. 
Yeah. As, a, as a matter of fact, the day that I went, it was a the conditions were gusty, gusty mm-hmm. winds, meaning uh-huh. there was no wind, and then heavy wind, and then no wind, and uh-huh. then light wind, and then suddenly heavy wind. Mm-hmm. So totally unpredictable. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know what's happening. Seriously, yeah. seriously, felt like I was going to drown. <laughs> oh. I'm so tired. Wore me out. Good exercise, though. Takes yeah. a lot of effort. Those crazy things. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, Ken. Well, thank you. Uh, that's cool. Saiban, we, we talked uh, about other things, but have you ever been in a boat? Ever, ever, ever? Any kind of boat? A canoe, a kayak, a rubber raft? No, I have never been uh, in fo- in in boat, teacher. Unfortunately. Okay, Saiban, I'm gonna. You're in the United States. Where are you right now? Saiban. I'm right now. I'm in Dallas, teacher. You're in Dallas. Uh, yeah, hey, I, I'm at Dallas, go? teacher. Okay, hang on. Let me I'm, let me think here. Maybe it's Rio Grande. Like what teacher? What Maybe Rio say? Grande. I, I'm trying to I'm trying to think of the nearest. Uh, big whitewater river to you. I think you, oh, should, you should go exactly. whitewater rafting. Oh, thank you. <laughs> sure. I, I will you try. Love that. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> sure. You have a great time. <laughs> oh, yeah. Actually, it'll probably scare the daylights out of you. But. <laughs> Okay. You should try it. It uh, definitely. Okay, I will try. But do you know, know. right now? Uh, right now, uh, I I have I am in uh, under high pressure because I have just three weeks left uh, to go to test. Uh, I mean, I I'm gonna take uh, IELTS test. So right now I oh, don't really? have a time. <laughs> oh. so just after after uh, test, uh, I can have uh, some uh, fun time. So I, I will try. Uh, uh, I will try. There. I I have a lot okay. of friends in here. Yeah. So I will try with uh, some of my friends. Uh, there you go. Yeah. Try <laughs> some boating. Go. Okay. Yeah. Actually, here. Okay. White water rafting is very exciting. Very uh, kind of what, maybe what is dangerous. This? What is white water rafting? You're in a big rubber raft and you're going down a very steep river with white water <laughs> and rocks. <laughs> And waterfalls. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeehaw! I, I, yeah. I have this experience. Victor, okay, tell Saiban uh, what whitewater rafting is then, please. Uh, just you... Uh, you just... Uh, uh, go uh, on... Um, by... Uh, by small uh, ship with a team. Okay. In, in, in my case. Yes. Usually a team. Yes. Definitely. Okay. Uh, yeah. Then uh, and then what? <laughs> you have a paddle and you, you have to keep paddling so you can keep the raft going in the correct pointed in the correct direction. So it okay. takes some effort. But you're also bouncing up and down and there's water in your face and you can't really oh. hard to, hard to stay <laughs> focused on where you are and what you need to be doing. But generally, you're going to have a team leader who's oh, going to be okay. telling you what to do. So oh. I, I, will, I will not uh, be scared because uh, the team no. leader will help me. And, uh, no, and you, I think it's a safe teacher, isn't it? No, uh, you you isn't will be scared. <laughs> you will definitely okay. be scared. Especially for someone, I mean, uh, who haven't, uh, yeah. who haven't uh, have experience, who haven't had experience before. So that's can you we... swim, Simon? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, okay. I, uh, we have a pole uh, in, in uh, center, active center in the uh, UTD. I mean, uh, I mean the university campus. And yeah. uh, actually, uh, I am I'm good swimmer. <laughs> so I uh, if even if the boat uh, will scan, uh, I can't swim, teacher. <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah. Okay, well that's very exciting, and um, 
Okay, All thank right, you. Let's for a bit more extreme. For something much less extreme, something uh, actually, I'm very curious if any of you guys have ever done this. In the United States, we would do something called tubing. All right, what is tubing? You grab an inner tube of, for example, a tractor tire or uh, a truck tire. Very a pretty big inner tube that that rubber donut inside and fill it with air so it floats really well and you can sink your body into the middle so your your butt is sticking in the water and your arms and legs are hanging over the sides of the donut. Right? In my country, in my country, it's very uh, popular. Uh, is it? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, in America too. It is a very lazy it, way to boat. Yeah. It also uh, uh, it also another kind of this uh, uh, of this attraction. Attra uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's uh, when you uh, um, uh, you uh, you do similar similar like uh, uh, like in uh, like with uh, donut, but uh, with uh, Okay. Uh, instead, instead of donut, donut, you uh, take a parachute. A parachute. Parachute and uh, a small, uh, a small but very powerful uh, ship. Uh, <laughs> okay. Ca ca uh, ca carry you. Uh, just I don't know uh, how to explain this in English. It's very difficult. I, uh, okay. And uh, you just. Uh, in the air, not on water in a donut, but in the air. In the air. By oh, yes, yeah. by oh my God. Yeah, I've seen that. I've seen that also in my country. Really? You get a parachute and they attach the parachute to a boat, so the boat speeds and then you start. Ah, okay, like uh, all morning. right, parasailing kind yes. of. Yes, can, uh, can you uh, can you mem uh, remember me word? Uh, when you connect some uh, something to the chip and uh, use for this uh, root or uh, I don't okay. know. Okay. Can, okay. Can you remember for me? Okay. Uh, the word. Okay. A boat. Uh, a, a line is tied to the ship. A line is tethered to the ship. I'm not sure what you're asking me. Actually, are you looking for the verb? Anchored, attached. attached to the ship, anchored to the ship. Yes, maybe attached. Long. Yes, anchored. Attached. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. All of the above. Yes, attached. It's what uh, this word I okay. was try trying to remember. Good job, Julio. Okay. I've uh, seen a. I also, it's, it's also somewhat popular that inner tube sailing, uh -huh. but uh, I've never tried it before and uh, definitely I don't want to be in a position where my butt is into the water and my appendages are not there to protect it so okay let me explain in America we're not flying in the air with a parachute and we're not in the ocean we're floating down a very lazy slow moving river we have um, cans of beer suspended by rope floating along with us so we very lazily drink a beer maybe we if we're really motivated we'll put a worm on a hook and pretend we're fishing basically <laughs> we're doing as little as humanly possible we're not even bothering to paddle we're just letting the current float us down the river we'll tie three or four or six of them together so there's a there's a whole group of you, so you nobody floats off away from the other people, and you're not going down white water rapids or anything like that. You're basically being as lazy as humanly possible while just sitting in a river on a hot day. That's the idea. <laughs> Look, this is so, this is what I think. You're sitting on your inner tube, smoking a cigarette, drinking a can of beer. That's basically what you're doing. You got your shades on. That's it. And exposing your butt to all sorts of water 
monsters water monsters out there. I suppose so. <laughs> I guess. Well, so. yeah. Anyway, I just want to bring this to the table. Like, mm -hmm. what happened to the that ferry that capsized in South Korea and hundreds ah. of students died? And what happened to the Costa Concordia, which also was a big disaster? If you are floating around the ocean in a ship that's worth at least a couple of million dollars, and you like end up there. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I feel comfortable floating oh, around oh, an inner oh, tube oh, with no uh, protection. Uh, how, how about Titanic? <laughs> don't don't forget Titanic. <laughs> yeah. Well, they they were in really cold water. Well, actually, that's the problem. Most of the ocean is really cold water. Uh, yeah, actually, that's the problem. Is the, the water so cold you get hypothermia and you go into shock and you die. You're not really worried about mermaids or sharks. You don't have time for that. You're busy freezing to death. It's usually the problem. Yeah, actually, and you know the. Yeah, that was a very tragic, these things you're talking about. In the Philippines, basically, almost once a year, one of, there are many ferries. Philippines is a, is a chain of 7,000 islands, 7,170 or something, I don't know. But, so, needless to say, there are literally hundreds and hundreds of ferries, water taxis, and water transportation vessels. And every year, a big ferry sinks here, usually because, for, usually for the same reason, it's it's filled over capacity because people aren't following the safety instructions, which are very obvious to everyone. It happens constantly. The, now, the one in South Korea, I have Korean students, and believe me, they are they don't put up with it like they do in the Philippines. They're thorough investigations, lots of arrests going on. Clearly, there were many problems and lots of corruption. Usually, these things can be easily avoided. Usually, these these big ships that sink, it's just sheer stupidity. Human greed, often. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And just stupid. People not doing their job. Just very, very stupid things. Not well, this is, a, this is a device that's built to... To do a simple task that is to stay uh, yeah. above the water, can you see floating or? Right, but look, it's a boat, so it, it takes a very simple human brain, the size of a you know a monkey's brain. Look, if you're going to fill it with a lot of things, you have to distribute the weight evenly. Usually, what happens is some idiot decides to put a million pounds on this side of the boat. Well, what do you think is going to happen? Just very stupid common sense kind of things, and and if you overfill it, you know, just like playing with, playing with your toy boat in the bathtub, you know, if you start putting marbles on one side of the boat, eventually it's gonna fall over. Usually these things are very stupid, honestly. Yeah, how do you say uh, when you want to say? Keep it, keep the boat floating, but in a different way. Keep it afloat. Afloat, afloat. yes. Afloat. Keep it oh, afloat, that's right. Um, yes, uh, you want to keep the keel, that's the bottom, that's the bottom part of the boat. You want to keep it steady. You want the keel rolling over. That's <laughs> the last thing you want. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> the, the, the sea is not made for humans, and we shouldn't be there. <laughs> so I'd rather Arr. stay in this safe, my dry inner, land. My inner pirate disagrees. <laughs> I, I like being on the water. I, I think if I was born 100 years ago, 200 years ago, I probably would have been a sailor. Arr. I like it. I'm for it. it uh, but that's just me. I have never sank, though. Has anyone ever sank in a boat? 
Ken, did you ever sink? And of course, windsurfing uh, doesn't really count because yeah, but everyone I know falls are, off. Uh, my friend's uh, son, uh, you know, the sail, uh, how can I say, uh, bro broke. So he di ah. didn't do anything uh, on the shore. The so mast rescue him uh, and swim, and uh, because I I'm over swim, so I I could swim. So I go to rescue him, but uh, I I I didn't do anything uh, for him because so I said uh, I uh, call somebody uh, on the at the beach. So I swim back to the beach, but uh, you know after we are talking, as uh, uh, good uh, flow a bit far from the shore. So after I began to swim, I realized oh it's far. So I, yeah. I was almost far panic, but uh, one side of me said, don't panic, don't panic. So I, because of that voice, <laughs> I don't know, but I could get a rhythm of the, of the swim and I could reach the beach. So mm. I thought, you know, to ocean is always dangerous. So don't yeah. uh, de de evaluate the ocean, you know. Right, right. It's nature. Absolutely true. So, I yeah, I truly thought at that time. Safety first, absolutely. Yes. And the yeah. ocean can do tricky things. Right. Ken, yes. have you ever been caught in a riptide? Riptide? What, what is Do you guys rip know what a riptide is? No. Riptide. Uh, very yeah. scary. Crazy tide. Yeah, it's basically <laughs> there's a river along the edge of the beach, there's a river that is, it's like a river inside the ocean. And it is moving. It is at a very fast strong pace, current. Very strong current that's going sideways oh, to the I beach. See. And it can just right. pull you out. Mm -hmm. I got caught in a riptide once when I was snorkeling and I ended up a kilometer out in the middle of a bay before I realized that I was not uh, 10 meters away from shore. <laughs> Whoa! Like 500 meters from shore. Oh my God! It was scary. How, how do you get scary. back to shore? Yes, I, as the, Ken the... said, the, Ken is absolutely correct. Do not panic. Uh, I could have. I started to panic. I thought I was going to panic, but I just controlled my breathing and floated. Made my plan. Where Where am I going to swim towards? First, I had to get out of the rip tide by swimming strongly and I was snorkeling so I had fins I had I had flippers on my feet I got out of the riptide and then I just you know analyzed my situation where's the best I was in the middle of a bay should I go to the east should I go to the west should I go I just had to figure it out and I used logic and stayed calm and it took me forever to get back I was swimming for an hour and a half before I got back Two hours, maybe. What does what does panic mean, teacher? Panic! Ah! <laughs> there, you, there you go. Sorry, <laughs> I wake up, teacher, because Good. it's it all is right. almost midnight right now. Uh, right. I wake up. <laughs> Glad to help. Well, I, I help. have a I have a life saving tip, but I want yeah. to know if you guys know what happens right. if you if your ferry capsizes. Uh -huh. And you have a, uh, I don't know, a guy next to you, very strong guy. A uh, guy is so desperate because he doesn't want to uh, drunk. No, he doesn't want to he doesn't sink. doesn't want to drown. Yeah. Or drown or sink. And he That's just tough. clings into you and and uses you as his, as his um, yeah. life, uh, what's the name of it? He, he, uh, life preserver. Life Life preserver. Okay. Yeah. What do you do in that situation? You knock his ass out. Excuse my language. Uh, this is a very strong guy. Like six feet I, tall. I swim really away and let him drown. <laughs> no, he, he already got you. He already... Okay, already I go you. down. Ah, yeah, there you go. He wants to go down. We're going down. We're going way down. I'm going down as far as possible and he's going to let go. Then I that try is. to knock him out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's somebody who's knocked out. You can rescue somebody who's fighting. You can easily kill you, easily. 
Yeah, that's you, true. You didn't have her choice, really. Hello, Junica. Junica, hello. Welcome to the hello. class. Hello. Hi there. Hello. Hi, am I saying your name correctly? Is it Junica or Junica? How should I say your name? Junica? Junica? Don't be shy. Say hello. Okay. Don't know what's going on there. All right. Hello. 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 How do I say your name? Hello, yeah. What is your name? It's Junica. 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 Okay. Where are you from? Yes. Where are you from? Indonesia. Indonesia. It's very I'm loud. From Indonesia. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're from a loud place. Indonesia really? is a loud country, I can tell. Okay. Have you been in a boat or a ship, Judica? Yes. What kind? Of, wow, it's really loud where you are. I'm sorry, but I think you need you need to wear a headset. Okay. Can you just power down? Uh, Junica, I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, I'm gonna. Can you mute yourself? Or I will. I will mute you. Uh, okay. Thank you, Junica. You've got to, if you're joining a verbaling class, you should wear a headset, all right? Um, I think you have an open microphone, and it is extremely noisy where you are, and I can't really have a conversation with you. It's very difficult. I can't hear myself think. Uh, okay. Victor, have you ever sank in a, in a boat? Ever? Has anyone actually ever sank in a boat? No? No. Okay. All right. That's sink, good. Sink. Sink. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Oh. Uh, yeah. No. Um, uh, I have never seen, uh, sank. Uh, sank on a boat, but uh, I have experience when I uh, help my friends, which... Uh, uh, um, sank uh, by yourself. <laughs> they oh, they sank themselves on purpose. Yes, yes. We yeah. just uh, swim in, in the right. sea, and he become to uh, follow. Uh, in uh, he become to uh, disappear in the water, and I helped him. <laughs> okay. Yes. Nice rescue. Well, it's it's very it's uh, a little bit uh, scare. Scary. Scary, yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, sure. Uh, yes, he can uh, die. Yeah. He, uh, he, well, he can die. Yes. So could you if you hit your head or something. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. As always, Ken is perfectly correct. Safety first. Absolutely. Always be safe in the water when boating. Okay. Uh, thanks a lot, uh, Ken. See you next time. Thank Take you. care. Always a pleasure. Nice to meet you, Junica. Get yourself a headset so we can talk for... We can practice your English. Um, but come back and see me. Don't be shy. See you guys. Thank you very much. Have a great yeah. day. Bye-bye.